you get to Green Bay and uh, that's football heaven. And I mean, that coaching staff, I, I mean, there, there had to be four or five, maybe six guys that became head coaches off of those uh, early years you spent at Green Bay. So, well, I mean, what and, a great place to be for a young quarterback. Well, not only Mike Holmgren being just a tremendous coach and I think definitely is a, is a Hall of Fame coach, uh, but, and you never hear of his tree necessarily. You hear Bill Walsh, you hear Bill Belichick, and Bill Parcells, and, um, uh, but really, you had Mike, and you had Mariucci, John Gruden, Andy Reid, Ray Rhodes, Dick Duran, and I'm probably leaving someone else out. Marty Morningwig became a head coach. All these guys, uh, you know, came, came from Mike Holmgren, and Mooch, Andy, Marty Morningwig were, were my position coach at one, at one point. Um, and there are a lot of other great coaches that didn't become head coaches because they chose not to. Um, and, and just wanted to be position guys. But really, it, it transitioned from one good one to another good one. And, you know, and I always say this, my, my only regret, and it's not really a regret, is that Mike and I didn't spend more time together. I think even though I had a lot of success after him, it would have been nice because we just started kind of gelling together. Um, and, and he knew me better than I knew me. Uh, but I was just starting to kind of come into my own. Um, and then he left. So, um, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda, but, but it was a wonderful time with Mike. And it was a wonderful time uh, in Green Bay. Uh, my 16 years, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Had some, some wonderful teammates and coaches.